All right. There we go. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. And we are live in the hive. Can't believe tomorrow is New Year's Eve already. So figured I would come on tonight instead of tomorrow night because I'm sure a lot of you guys will be going to parties and all that kind of stuff, which I will be too. So <clears throat> hello. Happy New Year, Sandy. Oh, sorry. I can hear myself. Oh, wrong way. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. So we're going to be making an Easter wreath tonight. I'm going to use this little truck. It says Happy Easter. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I know. I can't believe it's almost. You have good news. Have a good. Uh, yep. All right. So I know a lot of you guys ask me all the time how I make my wreath frames. So I thought I would show you a few. I did more, most of it. Hey, Julie. Hey, Jane. Hey, Elaine. Hey, Mary. So I take it in the crossbar here in the very first one. I just put a little dab of glue there and do that. Hey, Johnny, how are you? And then I take a half pipe cleaner and I put it on that same crossbar, but I put it in the third one. Hello, Cheryl. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Rose. I know I just decided at the last minute I was going to go live tonight. So I thought, oh, tomorrow night's New Year's Eve. I'm going to be not going to be here. I was going to do it tomorrow afternoon, but I'm like, oh, I'll do it tonight. So I hope you guys are all doing well. And then what I do, thank you for sharing, Jan, is I take a full pipe cleaner and I put it right in the middle of these two crossbars. See if you can see it better this way. In the middle of these two crossbars on the third ring, right in the middle. And you just kind of eyeball it. Hey, Don. Hey, Avis. So I just go all around the frame doing it this way. Hey, Mary Ellen. How are you? Hey, Cheryl, is that how you pronounce it? Hey, Michelle, how are you? So, hey, Barbara. Hey, I know, Cheryl, we're so happy to have you. Thanks for sharing, Judy, I appreciate it. So again, I take a full pipe cleaner there and then a half pipe cleaner right in on the third row. You guys could share this video. I would very much appreciate it. <clears throat> I know it's crazy. It's crazy. I can't believe it. New Year's Eve already tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, yeah. It goes by so fast. And I think the older you get, the faster it could. What do you try to? Um, oh, yay, Dawn. Awesome. I'm working on actually training right now for the group on a bunch of different bows, but we will do lives in there showing you guys. Yay, I'm so glad to have you, Dawn. All right, so that's our wreath frame. And like I said, when I make my own, Happy New Year, Mary. Hey, all right, so I put one full one right here on the first one, a uh, half a one, on the crossbar in the third row, and then I put a full one on the third row. Hey, Jerry Lynn, how are you? All righty, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using this mesh. It's a green and pink mesh, and I thought it matched this sign pretty good. So we'll be doing the poof method. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to gather my mesh here and hopefully <clears throat> i know me too dawn all right and then i'm just going to cut that to get kind of a a fresh edge there all right then i always start um i don't know why i always start in the top row so I'm going to move these down 
them out of the way until I need them. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start right here in this first row and just tie that off good. Oh, thanks, Sandy. And then I'm going to do 12 inch poofs. Okay. Oop. This mesh just doesn't want to pull. There we go. Okay, so 12 inch poofs. Yes, um, when you join um, Dawn, you will, I know Jerry Lynn, we're so glad Jerry Lynn just joined. What you'll do is you'll go through the link in PayPal and that will set up an automatic payment. And then it just automatically takes it out every month. And then, you know, whenever, you, if you ever want to leave, you just, you know, cancel the payments. But yes, it's, it's automatically taken out. And then once you pay on PayPal, you ask to join the group. And then I will, um, you know, approve you into the group. Hey, is it Sharon? Hey, Sharon, how are you? Yeah, I just did a couple of videos last night on how to use the Easy Bow Maker. And we'll also do lives again on the Zoom call doing that because I think that's fun. Good evening, Mary Jean. Okay, and then just keep doing... The 12 inch poofs all the way around. The form is a 14, I think it's like 14 and a half or 14 and a quarter inch frame. I get them from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and you're just gonna keep going around. Yes, I just got that at Michael's. Um, they had them on sale last week for 50% off. Hey, Rosalia, how are you? Yeah. So it was $25, which I was excited about because I'm like, I always had all these things scattered all over the place. <laughs> so I finally got one. Oh, they do, Dawn? I haven't been there yet. I have, um, I just placed an order for more frames. So I need to go pick them much up, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Thanks for sharing, Mary Jane. Hey, Patricia, we are working on an Easter wreath. We're going to use this sign that I got from Ed London. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so this is the last one, and we're right back at the beginning. Now, I only open up the ties when I'm putting the mesh back in. Other than that, I do not open up the ties. Like when I put the ribbon in, I don't open them up. I just open them up here. And you make sure that's nice and tight. I am doing well. Whoop, man. All right, so now I'm back at the beginning. So now because that pipe cleaners, because I put a little glue on my pipe cleaners, they don't normally shift too much, but you don't want to yank on that and move that. You just kind of want to bring it down and then tie it off. I know, right, Kathy? You really can. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Okay, and then we'll do um, 12 inch poofs down here. <clears throat> Happy New Year to you too, Patty. Yeah, I haven't seen when I, I went to um, the dollar store the other day because I needed to get a card. I was going to a bridal shower and they were still, they still had like all of their, um, Christmas stuff they were just, you know, trying to sell and get rid of. So, all right. So I'm using that half pipe cleaner here. Now, as you guys know, I don't put anything in but the mesh in my half pipe cleaner. So when I put the mesh in, I just go ahead and twist that around and kind of, I don't know if you can see it. I kind of wrap that around the frame to get it out of the way. Hey, Elizabeth, no problem. All right. So you see that? I just kind of wrap it around the frame to kind of get that pipe cleaner out of the way. Now, if you want to use full pipe cleaners there and put streamers in it, that's fine. There's no right or wrong way to do it. That's just how I prefer to do it. Hey, Faye. Hey, Sean. Um, this I got from TMI Gifts. I think I got it there last year. Um, but yeah, and I thought it went perfectly with the sign with the pink and the green. So thought I would use it. 
So do you guys have big plans for tomorrow night? We're just going over some friend's house. Play some card games. Have some fun. So. Happy New Year, Sherry. Yep, I'm doing well. Yep. Pretty busy, but you know how that is. Always busy. Thank you for sharing. Much appreciated. I will be live in the group on Tuesday night, even though it's, you know, New Year's Day, but I think, you know, I'm going to go live anyway. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Dee, thank you so much for blessing my page. So, guys, I have like 9,100 likes. When I get to 10,000, I'm going to give away um, a mesh holder, like a single mesh holder and a wreath and some ribbon so i'm excited i hope to get there soon i know i can't believe it's new year's already i'm doing great thanks linda i'm just gonna wrap it like i said i take those half pipe cleaners oh thanks kimberly yeah i like this mesh too hey reba Okay, and again, I'm just doing the 12-inch poofs all the way around here. Hello from England. Hello, how are you, Kimberly? Oh, that's nice, Dawn. That'll be fun. I know we um, were of my daughter's for Christmas, and she was like, yeah, you guys said you were going to take the kids every other year, and you haven't done it in a while. I'm like, yeah, I know. We have plans. They're like, well, we want to go out. I'm like, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, so we just go over some friend's house from church and play cards and just have a good time. We have a group. We have three other couples that we um, try because we don't always do it. We don't try. We try to get together once a month to have like a game night. It doesn't always work out, but um, we just have a have a lot of fun. I know. Almost, though. Almost. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to let those doggies out. All right. Almost all the way around. Thanks, Kimberly. I appreciate that. It's something I really enjoy doing. It was funny. I was at a, a bridal shower the other day, and... Um, my girlfriend, who had the bridal shower, she asked me, hey, Polly from North Carolina, she asked me to make some, um, some bows for her tree, for some tree topper bows. So I made her a tree topper bow. Thanks, Sean. And she had a wreath that I, I made a bow for and put it on. And um, oh, you're from England as well. Awesome. So there was someone, another friend from church stand, and she goes, oh, those bows are beautiful can't find big bows like that and I said oh well thank you I made them and my daughter was standing there and you guys know a lot of your family they just don't they don't get it right my daughter says yeah she's the crazy wreath lady I'm like oh thanks a lot <laughs> I'm like okay thanks Tara I'm like I'm the crazy wreath lady yeah Santa was good to me it was fun we had a good time so yeah so I'm the crazy wreath lady so, question to you guys, does your um, family support you? I mean, my husband supports me. I mean, you know, and she kind of does, but she's just like, oh, I'm the crazy wreath lady. I'm like, oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, so I'm back at the beginning. So this one, again, I will open up and put that one in. Oh, thanks, Christy. Um, the blue, I'll show you that in a second. That I made, um, my daughter-in-law is pregnant. Yeah, right, Debbie? I know. It's like, thanks a lot. You know, thanks a lot. This one is, um, it's a baby, whoops, a baby wreath I made for my daughter-in-law. Even though she's not telling me if it's a boy or a girl. I'm pretty sure it's a boy. So, um, I made that the other day for her. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. I'm like, oh, okay, thanks. 
<laughs> You're the crazy chicken lady. All right. So now I am going to go around and do that zigzag method that I showed you guys before because it's a little thin in some areas. Like you can see the, the um, frame a little bit. So what I do is, um, oh, that's good, Cheryl. No problem, Christy. So what I do, I'm on the bottom row. So and I don't measure these poofs. I just kind of, I don't want them too tight. And you don't want them too loose. You don't want a 12 inch poof. You're just kind of doing it to um, cover the frame a little bit. So I'm on the back. So I'm going to go up to the next um, set of pipe cleaners on the top. Oh, thank you, Cynthia. Okay. So that will fill in this center part a little bit. Okay. So then I'm going to take it. I'm on the top row. and I'm going to take a little bit and then just go to the next pipe cleaner on the bottom row. So it just helps to fill in that area if your mesh is a little on the thin side. Okay. And then that one was on the bottom. So then I will gather it. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I will gather it and take it to the top row. Now, I don't skip the center, Kathy. What I do is, like, I don't use the half pipe cleaners again. So I go from the bottom to the top to the top to the bottom. So it kind of helps to fill in that middle section. Because if you look at it, I don't know if you can tell. This was the part that I just did. So it's a little fuller. And this part looks kind of a little thinner. You see how you can see the frame a little bit here? Um, where's that at? Like right there here, you can kind of see that frame a little bit. So I don't want that, um, you know, kind of showing like that. So I'm just going to zigzag back and forth so that it gives it a little more coverage. Oh, that's a shame, Kimberly. I know, I heard you guys have a hard time finding stuff there. Hey, Patricia, how are you? Hey, Florence. Yeah, so it just helps to fill in the um, that center where it's just, you know, you can maybe see a little bit of the, of the frame. So that was the bottom row. So now I'm going to take it to the top row. So if any of you guys are new and don't receive my alerts, please type live in the comment section. And then you have to make sure you answer the questions from the bot or you won't get them. Or if you want information about my group, type in group, but either one is fine. Hey, Jeannie from PA. Hey, Carmel. Where in PA are you from, Jeannie? I'm about an hour west of Philadelphia. Okay, so I'm just gather that. And back up the top row. Hello from Fort Worth, Texas. How are you? Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, you just have to come over to the to the USA, right, Karen? You have to come visit us and then just send boxes and boxes of stuff home. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Yeah, it's um it just really helps to fill that center in if it's a little you know, oh, you're from Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. My husband is from Pittsburgh. Oh, you got a Probo? Have you used it yet, Karen? <clears throat> Staunton, Virginia. I lived in Midlothian for seven years. Oh, okay. So, almost done here. This not want to stay on there. It's because of the things I use. Okay. And then we're going to go back to the front row. I need to get smaller dowels. I think that'll stay on better. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, there you go. Hello from Florida. All right, so I think one more, and then I think we are back at the beginning. Okay. Okay. From West Virginia. Hello, Marianne from PA. You're a Philly girl? Oh, you're living in Washington State now. Yep, I live about an hour outside of Philly. Are we back? Nope. Okay, so one more here. And then I think we're back from Michigan. Oh, awesome, Kimberly. I know they're great. I, it, and I know it's because I use different, um, the dowels that came with it, like some of my, hey, Nikki, some of my um, rolls of ribbon don't fit on it because they're too wide. So, um, it doesn't want to come off. So I know that's why that's doing that. Oh, you're from Philly too? Oh, you, I have an accent? <laughs> See, I think everyone else has an accent, right? I don't think. Hey, Sandra, how are you? All right, so with this, this will bring us back to the beginning. <clears throat> it's so funny because, you know, when, you, when you're from somewhere, you don't think you have an accent. But when you go other places, oh, hey, Jonathan, I missed you. Sorry. When you go other places, you're like, man, they have an accent. And, of course, they're saying that about you, too. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to tuck that under. Hey, Judy, thank you. <clears throat> tuck that under there. Hey, Kathy, how's it going? All right, and then I'm going to take a zip tie here. Hey, Lisa from Pittsburgh. Hi, Rose. Okay, and zip tie that together. My husband is from the North Hills area in Pittsburgh. Doing well. Okay. So, find my pipe cleaners here. Everything's going good. So, you see how that just kind of helps to fill that area in some. Okay. So, now we're going to get our ribbons out here. And I have three different ribbons. So, I'll show you. <clears throat> so, we're going to put this sign on. And I figured we'll definitely use these two. And then I'm thinking maybe a one and a half in the green. So I think it'll help to bring the green out in the truck. So that's the ribbons we're going to use. Okay, let me just put this to the side here and we will get our ribbons cut. Um... No, that's not basket weave. It looks like it really does look like it though, but it's um it's just a plane. I know that sign I got from Ed London, and um I'm sure I can get more if anybody wants some of those signs. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure 13 inches. Put my finger there, and then Fold it over, and then I'm just going to, this is where I love this mesh roller. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Oh, you did? Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Okay. I know. I love my glue gun. It's just so nice to not have a cord and that kind of stuff. So, so I have these other scissors, right? And hey, Gracie, um, I decided they were dull and needed to sharpen them, and I ruined them. Oh, Rose, sorry. So now the and these are real stiff. 
Well, I think satin is my least favorite because and it depends on the satin too. Oh, you got a new one too? Um, if it's real shiny satin and slippery, I do not like it. And these scissors are not near as good as my old ones. Oh, come on. Ah. Definitely need to get different scissors. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we're going to use this one. Okay. And then we'll use this one. This one I got at, for you Pittsburgh people, I found this at Pat Catan's when I was up there um, at Thanksgiving. Oh, the other way. Um, Polly Burlap, Johnny Lynn, or... The first ribbon is a one and a half inch. So I'm going to use two one and a half inches and one two and a half inch. <clears throat> so we're going to do the same thing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I think I think I have to loosen the screw or something maybe a little bit because they're really tight and they're not near as sharp as my other set was. <clears throat> so I won't even try to cut this. Okay. So I'll just do a couple at a time. Instapot. I'm telling you, I've heard so many people have got Instapots this year. I never even heard that much of it about them till this this year. Let's see if I can cut all this here. Oh, that's nice, having your sisters and brothers there. Okay, so that's the second one. Hey, Patricia, how are you? And then this third one we will use. That's what I have heard. I've heard, like, I was on here the other night, and a bunch of people were telling me that they got Instapots. And I didn't even know what it was. It's like, what is an Instapot? I keep hearing all these things about them. Okay, so we're going to cut this one at 13 inches. I don't know. I don't know. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, whoa, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. All right. So one thing for you guys just starting out, you want like basic colors in your ribbon stash so like i have these linens and i have them in all different colors i always use wires yes ribbon with wire in them um and so when you're kind of starting your ribbon collection what you want to do um is you kind of want to get the basics like basic solid colors I mean, I have this in the lime green, the yellow, the orange, the pink, denim, brown, red, all kinds of colors. So you want to kind of, you know, get basic solids that you use all the time. When you're, you know, just starting to build your like ribbon collection. You've used a pressure cooker. Wow. 
It's one thing I've never used either. Hey, Cindy from Massachusetts. How are you? Less cooking. 30 minutes. Oh, wow. I'm so sad about my scissors. This is one and a half inch ribbons, Sharon. Yeah, these scissors are not near as good. So I have to play around with them. Maybe I just need to adjust that screw or something. So I'm using three ribbons. I'm using two one and a half. Oh, I want my other ribbon. My scissors. I'm using two one and a half inch ribbons and one two and a half inch ribbon. Okay, so this is one and a half, this is one and a half, and then this is my two and a half. Okay, so what we're going to do is I um, don't put them in those half pipe cleaners. I know I had these, I used my other ones, and like I said, they were trying, they were getting a little dull, so I was like, oh, I'll sharpen them. I ruined them. So I think I'm going to put the green in the middle and then the um, Easter egg one in the end, fold it in half, and then gather it together. Oh, no, they've blown up. Hey, Trixie. Hey, Rose. Yeah. And then I'm going to put the three of them in here. I do. Um, I don't have in my shop right now, but I will be getting these basic colors in again. Um, I have a couple ro rolls downstairs um, that I have left over. So I'll need to I'll bring those out and show you show um, those to you guys. Hey, Jackie. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to be selling ribbon again soon. <laughs> going to try and get get that back in stock and that you know like I said I've I know I just ordered some so as soon as that comes in I will put that on my site and um, get moving again with some ribbon because I like the 50 yard rolls of ribbon because you know they're hard to find but I really like that um, you know you don't go through it so fast. When I buy the 10 yard rolls, I always have to buy, you know, two or three because I'm afraid I'm going to run out or something. But um, I don't know. So I like the 50 yard rolls of ribbon. Yeah, the caddy was from Michael's. Okay. So again, I'm just taking the three ribbons, the one and a half, or the two and a half on the bottom, the one and a half solid, and the one and a half with the eggs on it, and putting it through there. I do. I think I do. I don't know. I kind of, um, but I think, yeah, I mostly start at the top. It's hard to get supplies in England. Oh, that's a shame. And it probably costs an arm and a leg to ship it. You know, I mean, I'd be happy to ship it, but I think you'd pay. Yeah, I do sell ribbons. I have just a few in my, um, oh, really, Jerry Lynn? But yeah, you just kind of want to check all over. Yes, it is. It's, it's all one piece. Yeah, and it saves a lot of money on the 50 yard rolls. Thanks, Kate. Appreciate that. So yeah, I try to buy 50 yard rolls whenever I can. But they're not, you know, like I said, they're not easy to find. So oh really in Canada too? Oh man. Okay, so I kind of grab it from here and kind of twist it and that helps Yes, wasn't it great, Cindy? I got 50% off too, so it was like 25 bucks, right? Yeah. The truck sign I got from Ed London, the wholesale place that I buy from down in Philadelphia. Um, I know I can get some more of those if you guys are interested in the truck sign. 
Um, it depends on the size of the, um, I'll have to look it up for you, the 50-yard rolls, how much they sold for. Um, I don't remember right now. Let me look in my Etsy shop to see if I can find what I sold them for. Because I don't want to tell you a wrong price um, on the ribbon. Um, you don't have a Michaels? I don't. Can you order from Michaels online? I'm not sure if you can order from Michaels online. Okay, let's see now. See the ribbon. Okay, the two and a half inch of the solids um, were twenty three sixty four, and the one and a half inch was sixteen seventy eight. So I have um, like I know I'll be getting some more of those in. I just have to order some. Eighteen for what, Johnny? For the ribbon? Okay, yeah, you can order from Michaels online. I thought so. Oh, awesome, Cindy. Yeah, I thought you could order from Michaels online, but sometimes, you know, it says just in stores or something like that. So. Oh, awesome. Getting ready. So, Jonathan, you're on your, what, 11 days off now? What have you been up to? Uh-oh. Um, Muriel, try going out and coming back in. That usually helps. If you go back out and come back in. You can't find the caddy online? Yeah. When I looked, I think it said you it was in-store only. Hey, Janet, how's it going? Okay, so again, just fold it in half and gather it in the middle. Okay. And then put it in. Yeah, when I go online for Michaels, a lot of times it'll say, you know, this is an in-store purchase only. Which is frustrating. You know, if you can't get to a store or something, um, it kind of is a little frustrating. All right, so that is my ribbons around the top. And then we're going to go to the bottom row. Cleaning out your craft room. Oh, awesome. That's always fun, cleaning out your craft room. Um, the mesh I bought at TMI Gifts. And that was a while ago. It was probably, it might have even been last year. No problem, Linda. Yeah, but it might have even been last year, but that's where I got that from. The frame is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. And those you can order online. Yes, the mesh is a pink and a lime green. Yep. Yeah, it actually goes perfectly with the sign. You didn't get a notice? Let me check the box. Okay, growth tools. Hold on, let's see. All right, try it again. Try typing in live or... Um, try it again and see if it'll fire for you. How you start a business with wreath or making bows ribbon. You got to notice. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you type live. Hey, Pat. I am working. Yep. If you type live or alert, you should get something back. Um, oh, no, that's not it. You got a notice. Okay. Good. Yeah. I, it, I know it, 
I'm hoping it was working. I know I sent out the notice and I got one. Okay, there I see Sue Ann O'Neill got one. So she, she got, a, now you have to answer the questions from the bot. So make sure you answer those questions. So it's working because Sue Ann just got one and she just answered the questions. So try again if you didn't get one. I mean, sometimes it may take a couple minutes. I don't know. I don't know that sometimes that bot drives me crazy. <laughs> Although, it's, you know, it's nice to have, but it, sometimes it just drives me nuts. And if you don't get message, okay, Cheryl got one, good. Um, if you don't um, get the messages and you sign up, make sure on... If you're on the live right now, there's three little like dots at the top and um, like do a drop down and say, you know, notifications, see first, make sure the notifications are turned on. Oh, good. Jackie said she got her message. I think you use the Instapot for cooking. Oh, thanks, Cecilia. Yeah, I think it's just like a faster way to cook from what I'm hearing. Oh, awesome, Polly. Good. Yeah, I think it's just like a quicker way to cook from what I understand. I don't know. I don't have one. But I've heard a lot of people got one for Christmas this year. Um, Deborah, I do. Um, I don't use the half pipe cleaners. When I, when I do my ribbon, I only put the half pipe cleaners in... Or I only put the mesh in the half pipe cleaners. I do want my ribbons in there. Um, the caddy I got from Michael's. You make lots of soups and meats. Okay. Oh, hey, Stony, How are you? Yeah, this, the caddy I got from Michael's. And it was $25. It was half off. Oh, thanks, Polly. No problem now. Just about done. We have one more to go. What did you? Oh, okay. For the, oh, okay. The Instapots. Cabbage rolls are awesome in there. So last ribbon streamers here. My husband won't eat cabbage, so I like cabbage though. That's the last one of that. I put um, six half pipe cleaners on. Where's my? Okay, so there we go. Let me show you where to go. Okay. So when I do my, when I do my um, wreath frames, this is what I do. Okay, so here is what I call a section, okay? There's a crossbar here, a crossbar here. So that's what I consider one section. So in each section, I put a full pipe cleaner right here, and I put a half pipe cleaner on the third ring there also. Then I put a full pipe cleaner on the middle between these two crossbars, and then a half here and a full here. So on each section, there's three full and two half. The two half pipe cleaners, I only put my mesh in. I think if you put it in all of them, it's just, to, you know, kind of the ribbon gets lost. Because if I had, like here's a half pipe cleaner. If I put my, um, yes, you are. Yes, you're watching live. Um, if I put ribbon in my half pipe cleaners, the ribbon would be really on top of each other. Okay, so now... I also have this streamer. Oops, 
for the um, deco mesh tubing, which I love to use. And I think we're going to put that in as well. And then I also have these eggs. Look at these cute eggs. Can you guys see all those? I might put those in also. So what I do with my deco mesh tubing is I cut it to about 36 inches. Oh, thanks, Debbie. You pipe cleaner the same even if you do. Yes, I do them the same exact way. Yep. I know. Aren't they adorable? I got those at Ed London too. So the sign and those eggs came from. Um... Oh, thanks, Carla. This tubing can get a little wonky. Move this over here. Okay. The eggs came from Ed London Wreath. It's um hey Kathy. It's a local wholesale place I have down here in Philadelphia. So if you guys are interested, I can get those for you. But they are really cute. Oh, awesome, Trixie. Yeah, those signs are really cute. I like those signs. So I just cut the deco mesh tubing in um, 36 inches, or about 36 inches. You don't have to, um, you know, be real. Yes, I just put the um, the mesh in there. Yep. I like using the tubing too. It just adds another dimension to your wreath. So I do like to use it. Good to go. All right. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tubing and I just fold it in half and then in half again. That's all I do. Okay. And then I just put it into the each pipe cleaner that has the ribbon in it like that. Oh yeah, I love this tubing. It really, like I said, it just adds another dimension to your wreath. Okay, and this is all I do. Just take it, fold it in half, and in half again. Yep, exactly, Cecilia. Yep. Yep. And it's just, like I said, just adds another dimension to it. And if some are longer, some are shorter, it really doesn't matter. I mean, this one looks a lot longer. So I think, let me see. That must have been the last piece. That one's almost double. Hey, Teresa, how are you? So I'm going to, um, for you that live in the Philadelphia area, there is a Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, and they're having a... Um, show coming up on the third that I'm going to go to and check that out. Hey, Robin. Oh, yeah, it's so easy to use, Jonathan. It really is. I mean, it's so easy. And I was, I don't have pink. I was looking for my pink. I don't have it. I guess I didn't have any left over from last year. Or I would have put pink and um, the green in here. But I couldn't find any pink. You know, because I try to get this stuck at the end of the season or, you know, something like that to kind of, so I have it in time to um, use it for the next season. Because a lot of times this stuff, oh, you, it's out in your area? Yeah, it's so nice. I mean, I just love to use it. Yep, you can do anything with it, really. I mean, you can, you know, use it different ways if you want, but this is kind of just the, always, the way I always kind of use it. Yep, now we're going to go on the bottom row here. Okay, Rose, we'll see ya. Do I sell the wreaths, Julia? Yes, ma'am, I sure do. 
in my Etsy shop. I will have to pull the ribbon that I have in stock and show you guys. Like I said, I know I'm getting more ribbon in. Um, I have to order, put an order in. Yeah, this wreath will be for sale in my Etsy shop when hopefully tonight I'll get it listed. But if you're interested, just send me a message and I can send you the link when I get it posted. They also sell kits and some signs and ribbon. And I don't have a lot of ribbon right now, so I'm working on getting more in my shop now. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Now, if you use these, um, I will have to figure it out, Julia. Just send me a message and I will send you the price uh, when it's all done. The lime green ribbon I sell. I am going to be buying more of the ribbons soon and posting it in my Etsy shop. Um, so as soon as I do, I'll put a post on here and hey, Teresa, um, I'll put a post on my Facebook page and let you guys know. So I'm going to put in an order soon. I did put in an order for some other ribbons um, that are 50 rolls. So, all right. So that is with the tubing. You can see it just adds a whole nother layer to it, right? So then let me see if I'm going to use these. These are just so thinking, thinking cute. Now the only thing I'm not sure of is these are like a paper mache. So I don't know if you put these outside, they're probably going to get ruined. Not sure about that. Um, the eggs came from Ed London Wreath. Yeah, they're kind of like a paper mache on top. Hey, Bev, how are you? So, I don't think I'm going to use these. Oh, I will use them. Yes, well, they do have retail, but you can't, like, I don't think just anybody can order from them. All right, let me see what this looks like. Let's see if we can get that off. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke a little hole in it. That is, it's just styrofoam. Yeah, I think I need to seal them. So I won't, um, probably won't put them on because I don't want to put them on and then um, have them be ruined. Okay, so what I will do, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to, I, I want to seal them first, is, um, yes, I can, Cheryl, yep is I will put like glue in that hole and then I will just put them right in there like that. So I will seal these eggs first because I don't want them ruined. I'll either mod podge them or spray seal or something um, and put them on, but I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin them. Okay. So then this is the sign Yes, if you and I don't want to, you know, sell the wreath and then someone be like, oh, the eggs got ruined. So if I seal them, they should be okay. All right. Oh, thank you, Sandy. So this is the sign I'm going to use. Um, you know what? I always have, um, like, I'll show you the colors that I have. Now, I didn't buy these all at once, so don't think you have to run out and buy all these colors all at once, but um, okay, let me take the sticker off here. All right. Let me get my stapler out, and I think I will use these. Um, the sign I got at my local wholesale place, and I know I can get more. So what I can do is, um, what I'll do is I'll put a post, and if anybody wants one, um, put your link, 
and your PayPal email or your, yeah, your PayPal email that um, I can send you an invoice for. And then I can just, um, I'll know how many to get. Yeah, so I can just do that because I think um, I think they're I think they're going to be at this show on the fourth of January, so I can either get one. Yeah, just shoot me a message and say I want the truck, the Easter truck sign, and give me your um, email, and then I can just invoice you guys. But I probably won't pick them up until the fourth or fifth. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I don't want this just kind of dangling. So I'm going to put some pipe cleaners here. And one over here. do is I will just put the sign there and I'm not going to tie that on because I well I can tie it on because I don't need the eggs to and you want to try to find a crossbar if you can so that your sign doesn't move from side to side up and down that kind of stuff all right and then just tie that in And I'm just using the um, this string that came with it. <clears throat> okay, yep, I will. I will send you the information, and then, um, like I said, I can't. I know I can't get it till the the fourth or the fifth. Yep, but I can do that, Carla, no problem. Yeah, if anybody else is interested in the trucks, just shoot me a message and um, I'll let you know on the pricing because it'll be the pricing and the shipping. No problem. Hey, Katie, how are ya? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Crazy Maisie's in the house. All right, so this is near a crossbar, so I'm going to use that crossbar to go ahead and hook that in there. Hey, Rosie. Okay, Cheryl, I will get you one. All right. Yep, I will give them a call. Oh, no, you didn't see it. Rosie, don't tell me you're not getting them again. Yep, if you want a truck, just put your um, PayPal email address and how many you want. I have to look up to see how much the um, they are. I don't remember what I paid for it. And then, um, like I said, I won't pick them up until like the 4th or the 5th. <clears throat> okay. All right, so like I said, I'm going to put these eggs in, but I want to spray them first because, um, yep, right here is the Easter truck, Jennifer. Okay, so that's the truck. And I know I have, let me show you some of the colors I can get on that ribbon. Let me see. So I have, let me show you the ribbons, the pink, the denim, 
around. Red. Okay, the green and the orange. And then this orange. And I don't know if this is all of them either. Um, so these are some of the colors that I get, and I can get them in one and a half and two and a half inch. So there's a pink. I think there's a fuchsia too, but I don't have that one. Um, a denim, a brown, a red, like kind of the mossy green. This is kind of a burnt orange. And then this is an orange. Oh, this they call rust. So I will be getting more of those and the lime green that I used in this wreath. So, so yes, yeah, so I know I will have those in my shop soon. But yeah, like I said, if you want one of these trucks, let me know. Um, I know I saw them in the warehouse when I was down there. So we'll see how many um, I can get for you guys. And I'll let you know the pricing. Alrighty, guys, that's it for me. Those are not, no, these are not in my shop right now. I have to order them. Um, and what I was doing before was I was um, posting it, and then once I got an order large enough, I ordered them and then shipped them out to you guys. So we will see, um, but I will start carrying these again. I have to place an order and get some in. Um so we will see. So yeah, if you, um, how much are the signs or the ribbon? The signs I have to check on the ribbon. I think the two and a half was 23 something. And the one and a half was 18 or 16, something like that. I can't remember. Um, but I will, when I get that all posted again, I will, um, let you guys know when I have more ribbon. Oh, thanks Cheryl. So that's it for me, guys. Um, like I said, if you want one of these signs, let me know. I know I can get some. Um, and I will email you guys. Or I'll send you a message. You want the lime green? Yeah, let me see. Like I said, I'll see what I can get. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll put a post in and see what colors you guys want and how many... Um, and then I'll just place a big order at one time. Because if I place little orders, then, you know, it's cost me more money. So, all right, guys, I will um, check on these chucks for you. And if you want one, put your email address in there. And I will post on here how much they are. Or I'll put a new post on there. And um, then you guys can um, let me know how many you want. And that way I'll order them. All right, guys, have a great night and a happy new year, and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye. Be safe out there.